hi welcome back to short stops and shenanigans we are doing our first trip now we're going to berkeley springs west virginia to the spa so come with us let's go so this is our intro and we are now giving you updates on it Woo! come and join us oh. That's because Jippus is a dirty whore. No, Jippus loves me. I would lost without her. No, no, no. Jippus is a boy. Turn right on okay. Sharksburg Pike. No. Sounds like a girl. She has transgender issues. She's in the transition stage. She wants to be a boy. Oh, okay. So, I, I'm going by her wishes and I'm going to call her a boy. Okay. And he sometimes lies to me. We have officially arrived at our destination. Here we go. Look how pretty it is. So green, so natural, so not city stuff. So it should be fun. We're going to go check in now and then we'll show you around our hotel room. Bye. So we're standing in the lobby right now of this place. Check it out. It is so very pretty and very old and not fancy like. I like the old stuff. And we totally got a bottle of wine with our room, it's which is cherry. awesome. Yeah, we chose a cherry wine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, look how pretty it is. Look at this bunny rabbit for oh, Easter. Look at this place. Look how pretty it is. Everything is so pretty. We are in the elevator, going to our room. Going up. Okay, so this is our room. Ooh, the little table. Oh, the refrigerator's a nice one. The beds are nice and big. For the queen. Of course they are. Oh. And there's TV. And there's the bed. I mean, it's very, like, clean. Very like, clean. like very clean and very, like, Holy. not cluttered. And look, we get candies. Let's turn on the light. No, I think or they're, the, like, those Lindor truffle things. Oh, oh they're caramel. Those yeah. Are Yay, look at that. They're awesome. This place is cool. So, this place has a bar, and we're hungry. So, we're going to go check it out. Grub. No. We ate like ten, and now I need to like munch on something or drink. You know, whatever I feel like. Yeah, and we got cherry wine for later. So, if I followed her directions correctly. I'm not going to bother. I'm taking the shortcut. <laughs> so we can go this way. Back to the lobby area. I believe, if I remembered correctly, the bar and stuff's to the right once we get inside. <laughs> Do we want to go into the bar area or the little, I guess that's the restaurant. Let's walk. Okay, here's a little restaurant area. So we're sitting in the pub section of the food area. This is what it looks like. Awesome table. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've got a nail in there. 
I wonder if we can like carve our names on it. All right, we have finished eating now, and it was delicious. It was awesome. We both got the chicken club bacon oriented fabulousness. So we were eating, and this guy walked in with his family. Bald. Okay, this man is bald. He had some kind of sports jacket on, and you could tell he was like this snob. Now we were sitting in the bar area. They have a restaurant side and a bar side. And he comes walking in, and they get seated. There's a small child and a lady who's younger than him, but it might, might be like his daughter. Oh yeah, we're not we're not quite sure. Maybe it's we don't the, care. the little kid's mother. Anyway, not the point. Um, so they go to sit down. He's still standing. He's taking off his jacket. He looked at us. And then looked at the people and go, are you guys sure you want to sit over here and you don't want to sit on the other side? Yeah, it's <laughs> like, wow, ignorant, snobby people. So far, so far, everybody has been nice. Either they think we look great, or they're just polite to us and treat us like normal people. And it's like, oh, they look a little different. They're cool. And then you get the motherfuckers like that that are just like, nose up in the air. And they're just like, they're, they're, they're just freaks and we can't sit by them, my God. So, snobby, uppity people. Piss me off. Yeah, so that's what we've encountered, but it's only been one person out of everybody that we've met so far. He's just an old dude. So we don't really care, but we figured we'd let you guys know anyway. I was hoping to like give him a dirty look, but he was like not there when we left, so sad face. So we're chilling back in our room until we have to go to the spa, and then we're going to probably go get something else to eat after the spa because it'll be kind of late afterwards, so a little bit. we'll check back in later. Bye! Bye! -bye. So we are officially done our massages. It was amazing. And now we're going to go get something to eat. I feel kind of like pudding. Lots of pudding. Chocolate pudding. Except you're white. I can still be delicious chocolate. Okay. Hi. We've officially returned for the night. Uh, we're gonna drink. Yeah, we're gonna drink some of that cherry wine. Oh. Keep talking. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, we're gonna drink some cherry wine and then probably fall asleep for the night. Um, we had a great day, the massages went really well. So there's the cherry wine. We're gonna have a good drink. So yeah, we will turn this on again tomorrow morning. And update you some more. And we're not doing massages or anything, we're just gonna go home, but who knows what's gonna happen along the way. Breakfast. It could be a great adventure. Yeah. Hopefully in later videos we'll actually be able to like tape some of the stuff that we're doing. But, you know, a lot of we're, humidity we're and... Nakedness. Na yeah, just, it's not happening. We Sorry. We you. That kind of thing. Sorry, YouTube. Sorry to disappoint. We're, we're thinking of you. Yeah. Anyway, good night, everybody. Good night. We're officially leaving today. Goodbye, country and... You were good to us. We feel better. We do. Well, Lee feels a little sore. I'm a little sore. I got a really deep, deep massage. I'm a delicate fucking flower, and I said just the regular massage is good for me. I figure in a couple of days I'll feel great, though. Okay, so we're here at the Potomac River Grill. We need breakfast. So that's what we're going to do. We'll let you know how it is. Oh. A little quaint little place. The little tables and kiwi and they got this background this back outdoor place if you want to come out here and lots and lots of parking it's in the back so we didn't know it existed she's typing into the gps we're going to go to this place called the blue goose fruit market and bakery because we like fruit and baked goods and it seems like fun though when i initially put it into my gps it said it was 49 minutes away and then i was like well let's see how far that is from the house Please then to highlighted route. and it said it was like 12 hours away from the house and i'm like hmm, i don't know what's wrong with you google then i realized i had it set to walk and not drive we it's only it. a six minute drive uh from here it's only like a four minute drive okay four minutes <laughs> Are you guys excited you're watching us drive? <laughs>
and I drive. And I sit here. Here at the Blue Goose, they had a lot of ciders for sale. Mmm, cider. And they also had a large variety of sodas. They had sarsaparilla. That was really super exciting to me. So birch beer, black cherry, grape soda, orange cream, root beer, diet root beer. Sarsaparilla! And vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. That one sounds good. All the pies. They have lots of things for sale here. Lots of delicious goodies. We will be buying something. Breads. Other delicious goodies. Some cookies. No, donuts. Apple cider donuts. I, apple cider donuts. We're buying these. They got Cubans. I need Cubans in my life. Let's sniff this one. <coughs> Oh, it's not like coffee. Wait, come here. I'm coming, Kiwi. Sniff this. Camera. Yeah. Okay. That does smell just like coffee. Look how happy she is. So happy. We just got finished shopping in the Blue Goose. It was awesome. It was really awesome and very dangerous. Very dangerous. We could spend a lot of money in there if we wanted. They have stuff that is, they have like their own bakery in the back. So everything you walk in and this aroma of goodness and orgasmic smell like hits you and you're just like, <sighs> I need to live here for like a week and a half. Yes, they have homemade cider, jellies, jam, salsa, Anything you can think of, they have. You can get a shirt there that says, like, the Blue Goose. They have beer. They have wine. The only thing they don't have with wine is they don't have a Blue Goose wine, which I told the cash register they should make. We would have bought one. We would have, so. But we did buy some of their apple cider. We did, so we'll let you know how that is. I'm sure it'll be delicious. Of course it will. So, back on the road, finally going home. On the road again. Unless we get distracted by something else. You know, it happens. Exactly. So, okay. we'll let you know. Bye! Bye-bye! Alright, take two, because the first one fucked up. Yeah, for whatever reason, it didn't tape. Yeah. Welcome back. This is our wrap-up for our very first short stops and shenanigans. We made it back from Berkeley Springs, and for the most part, the trip was pretty nice. Say so The food was awesome, very large amounts, and they were all decently priced where it didn't completely kill our wallets. And for the most part, everybody was really nice and friendly to us. So. Except a few douchebags where they gave us those looks of... But we encounter that going to the grocery store here. It's so. a typical occurrence. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so next time we're going to be going to Connecticut uh, so I can get some custom-made vampire fangs. And it'll be a little bit longer of a trip. It'll be about four or five hours of a drive. Cat's playing with water bottles. Because he's a dick. He's not a dick. He's a dick. And we are also going to a place called a steampunk cafe. Um, but it's not so much steampunk as it is geek fest as long as they have chai or hot tea i, I really don't care i'm just going because it's called the steampunk cafe really but until then we'll, we will we will see you next time for our next trip here on short stops and shenanigans tune in again bye everybody So we attempted to leave the camera on the top of the the dash. Yeah, that. But as you can see, it kept wanting to veer and cut off Kiwi here. We had slight equipment malfunction. I was like, maybe if we put a piece of tape down, but we didn't have any tape. We got an amazing suction cup from Amazon. For like six bucks. Yes, and it came with one day shipping for free. So, yeah, that will have much better driving quality later. For viewers like you. Because we care so much about you guys. Nothing but love. All love. So enjoy the bloopers.